My name is TJ and I'm about to take on a journey through the streets to find out the answer to the biggest question Does rap music promote violence? There's a war going on and I ain't talking about the war on terror I'm talking about the biggest war I'm talking about the war on hip hop On the media discouraging rap music and talking about how it promotes violence. What are your views on that? I don't think. I think yeah, if you can believe that kind of stuff for yourself, I don't think it make, makes much of a difference to most people. I think mm. people who think it, it promotes violence in the first place are going to be more likely to be violent anyway. Uh, you think video games are the, are the... This is what I heard on television, that okay. uh, the violence in video games are affecting uh, teenagers who are watching them okay. and they're going in committing crimes. Okay, okay. And Definitely. I've heard about this in the past in other countries as well. Alright. So because violence is all over the world and all over the world, not everyone listens to rap music, you think there's other no, no, factors no. that affect it? I don't it. think it's uh, rap music, uh, rap music. I think it's it's the teenagers who are spending so much of time watching those uh, violent TV games, uh, mm -hmm. you know? Definitely. And they're being affected by that. Okay. Because all the mind is focused on killing and killing and killing. Definitely. And the mind is so absorbed with it. Yeah. Killing Definitely. and they just get into a fit and they yeah. go and do it. Uh, I think uh, the rap is good for uh, to associate the young people, Definitely. teenager. Mm -hmm. It's a way to you know to to remove the people from you know bad uh, bad the situation. And I think it will uh, play a, um, an important role to you know for the communication or to to make the people more polite, uh, more educated. Yeah, in the studio, in the studio, studio. Yeah, I'm here today with my boys from BW at their music studio as up and coming hip hop artists from London. I wanted to hear what they have to say about the industry they've chosen to be a part of. This is their opinion, their views, their music, their life. This right here, this is EW. Okay, listen, roll me my mom's home and she's fat, but I got a song called Flow, so I'm Okay, listen. <laughs> Hip hop music does not promote violence. You see, it's up to individuals. The music that they make, it's up to them. Being a music producer, I've worked with a range of artists. Some artists have actually come through and promoted violence. It's up to you as an individual to decide whether you want to make hip hop promote violence or you want to make it promote, say, I don't know, peace or something. Now, Hip hop origins, obviously, it was all about repping the culture. It's nothing to do with guns, so really, it's up to you. It's your decision. Now, on the rules, I don't think there's any way we can blame this whole grime or hip hop scene for the violence and knife crime in London or whatever. Because statistically, if anything, recent times, knife crime and gun crime has decreased within London in these urban communities, you get me? So you can't blame hip hop or grime on that too. And if anything, grime and hip hop is a recent thing, it's only been around for like the last decade. We know guys were getting shanked and like, you know, licked down on the roadside way before that. It's all this bullshit that the government's trying to inflict on us. If anything, what you blame this whole crime and deviant situation on is the government. Because if you look at the ecology theory, yeah, is when it talks about how in a city, like as you go further out, like the, cent the, the center of the city is where all the business is, it's called the central business district, you get me? And that's where there's no crime, only maybe a little bit of white collar crime, but that's all the posh part where the guys come working to. And as you go out, yeah, that whole area is full of fuckiness where, you know, all this mad shit is going on, guys are joking each other and whatnot, you get me? And as you go further out, you go into the suburbs and crime decreases, and that's the theory in it. But if you look at it, you can blame that on the government, because the guys that are in them places together, is because the government puts them there. It's these council estates because these people have nowhere else to go. They've got poor education, poor discipline, and they're all put in the same place together. In this place that's all run down, so they've got no respect for it. And because they all got this whole deviant nature about themselves, that they come together and they just do this thing, you get me? Are the streets are street dangerous at night? <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, it depends where you go, innit? <laughs>